Welcome to Dynan, another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today's subject is piggyback boxes versus software for your factory control unit. So this is a typical piggyback box that's in the marketplace. It's a small device that modifies signals on the way to the ECU. This is a BMW control unit, a lot more sophisticated, a lot more powerful. And this is a Dynan tool to program the ECU through the buses in the cars. Now the reason we go through the trouble to program the ECU instead of doing a piggyback box is the level of accuracy and control that it gives you. This is a graph depicting what happens to your engine control system at different loads. Over here is a very, very light load, vacuum, like light throttle cruise down the freeway with the cruise control on. This is heavy load in vacuum here, and the dotted line represents when the engine goes in the boost if it has a turbo on it. This dotted line here represents where the factory boost would be, typically around nine pounds. And this line here represents where the boost would be once you've modified your car and increased the boost pressure. And as you'll notice, this is ignition timing here in red. As the load increases, there's a slight retarding of the ignition timing so that the engine won't ping. But right when it's about ready to go into boost, it starts aggressively retarding the ignition timing. And as the boost increases, you have to keep taking ignition timing away. That's to prevent the engine from detonating or pinging when you've increased the boost. The green line represents fuel. Very, very lean for light throttle crews to get good fuel economy and very consistent and flat. And then when you're about ready to go into boost, we add fuel to match the extra airflow from the boost going up. And the more boost we have, the more fuel that we add. Now typically how a piggyback box works is the signal, the manifold pressure sensor that sends a signal to the ECU is basically lied to by basically modifying the signal with resistance so that the ECU thinks that when you're at 14 pounds of boost, you're really at nine. Because if you went over nine, the computer would shut the engine down and go into limp home mode and set a fault. The problem with that is, is we now have the right amount of fuel for nine pounds of boost and not 14 because the engine's too lean. And down here, conversely, we have enough ignition timing for nine pounds of boost instead of 14, which is too much advance. And the piggyback ma manufacturers are typically relying on the knock sensor to determine that the engine's pinging, add extra fuel and take timing away to save the engine from failing. So basically, the factory ECU is compensating for the piggyback box's poor level of calibration. In addition, these load signals also go to other parts in the car via the CAN bus, the powertrain CAN. They go to the transmission and the stability control system and give it a load signal. And without the extra load, the transmission may slip as well and the stability control may not work properly. So it's really not the right way to, correct, to correctly tune an engine. The right way would be to program the right amount of fuel and the right amount of ignition timing for the boost that you're running. And this is what happens in a factory ECU. Factory ECU is a lot more powerful, a lot more complicated, uh, and control a lot more functions. And this is a Dynan's programming tool which plugs into the, the router in the car, which is called the gateway module, and sends the communication to the proper ECUs along the way. Now, it is possible to make a piggyback control unit that would modify all the signals necessary. It would have to be about the size of the factory ECU, so you could control the injectors, uh, the ignition drivers, the CAN bus communications, all the other ECUs in the car. Uh, and that would be the right way to do it, but it would have to have a lot more wires and a lot more signal modifications than the ones that are on the marketplace now. Dynan has a very large computer science department, and we do all of our own software, software delivery tools, and control units inside the company. This gives us the best quality control and the ability to do things that other people in the aftermarket just can't do. A thorough understanding of the electronics in your modern BMW is really important because they're very sophisticated from an electronic standpoint.